Kevin Raver here and welcome back. Sorry it's been a little while since my last video. Been a little busy on some projects, but you'll find out all about those projects pretty soon. Anyway, got some exciting news today. Epson, and you know I'm a printer guy, right? So Epson now has just released and announced today the Short Color P5370. And this is the new Epson printer, which will replace the famous Epson P5000. And uh, it'll be shipping sometime early next year. And uh, we will get a review unit here. So everything I talk about, we're going to try out. Uh, I'll do an unboxing and setup, and uh, we'll run it through the paces down at the studio and see how it performs. I'm really excited about this. This is a 17-inch printer, and it's been around since uh, 2004 in uh, five other iterations. So this is the sixth iteration of the uh, P5000 series. It started off in 2004 with the Epson Pro 4000, and then in 2007, the Epson 4800 was announced, and then in 2008, the uh, 4880, uh, and then in... Uh, 2010 was the Pro 4000. This printer, uh, the Pro 4000, was the first uh, used in uh, some digital mini labs and things like that. Uh, and then in 2017, they announced the P5000. And the P5000 is a printer that many people have used. And one of the reasons why people use these printers is the fact that it's got a roll feed to it and sheet feed and uh, a cassette. And anyway, now, 2024, the Assure Color P5370 is now finally with us. And uh, it doesn't look much different than the printers uh, from the previous um, versions, except now it's got two new distinctive features, uh, a new uh, touchscreen on the front and a, a, a new print head. And we'll talk a little bit about that uh, in a second. Who is this printer made for? It's particularly aimed at the uh, professional and fine art photographers. Uh, the advanced amateur photographer, fine art printers, and uh, print service providers. It also is good for portfolio prints, gallery prints, uh, fine art collectible prints, and print fulfillment such as uh, a wedding or doing a uh, mini lab type of, of work. This has a new print head, so probably one of the more uh, distinctive new uh, designs and features of this printer is the new 10-channel Micro Piazzo AMC print head. Okay, you can get past all that stuff and essentially this is the same print head that's used in the P900. So uh, it's reliable and uh, anybody that has the P900 knows that uh, it's, it does a pretty good job, if to say the least. It's like how much better can it really get? Anyway, um, you'll find the uh, P900 print head. Uh, it will be in this printer and uh, you will have th three different ways to feed this printer media-wise. You'll be able to work with both roll, sheet, fed, and a cassette. So the cassette's underneath and the paper comes through. You feed the sheets from the back and then there's a roll. So if you're doing up to 17 inch wide and you need a roll for canvas or even a 10 inch roll just to do 10 inch prints in a production environment, uh, this is the uh, printer to have. Uh, it'll do a great job and it seems to be fast. And if you've got to do sheet fed, such as eight and a half by 11 or 13 by 19 or 11, 17, you can just load it up with the right uh, paper. It can't be heavy duty paper and it'll feed through just fine. And for those thicker fine art medias, you'll just feed it in to the rear slot. As I said before, one of the distinctive features for this new printer is the uh, touchscreen on the front. It's a 4.3 inch touchscreen, uh, very similar to what you see on the P900 and the P700, if not identical. And you'll be able to get all sorts of information from it, read your ink cartridges uh, levels, uh, clean, maintain, and update firmware and so forth uh, through this really good uh, control panel. So you'll, you'll find that to be a pretty handy thing. There is uh, another uh, feature that it has too, is a black enhanced coat. So if you're doing glossy, there is an enhanced coat that can go on the glossy uh, finishes to even give it a little bit more pizzazz and pizzazz uh, for the, the prints being made. One of the other things that you'll be looking for is uh, the kind of software to drive this printer. Uh, Epson Print Layout, which by the way we've done articles on in the past, is a real simple, easy to use, but powerful driver for these printers and it's free and it works both on PC, Mac and your mobile devices and you'll be able to get 
that software, um, who knows by then, maybe they'll have the, an update for that, although it's pretty reliable and works really well for what I've been using it for. Um, you can also be using third-party programs and most likely um, you'll be printing from Lightroom from it or Photoshop and that's how your preferred method of printing goes. So you've got the particular part. Now the other thing that's really important to think about here is that essentially Epson print layout is canned and comes with and has the ability to work with the Epson papers. However, if you want to put a third-party paper in there, you need to use what's called a media installer. And the media installer is a little tough to do and, and work with. However, there'll be a new media installer when this printer is released. And we will be doing a video on the new media installer software and show you how to use it and set it up so that it works really well with Epson print layout. An Epson print layout with the ability to print the third party papers, it's gonna be a very powerful solution considering it's free and it works perfectly well with these printers and it works wirelessly. So it, you're gonna see that to be a, a, a big feature of the new printer. There'll be also some other software features coming out. Uh, there is a wireless uh, cloud type of software called the port. And this will allow you remotely on your phone or other mobile device to take a look at a lot of the different aspects of the printers fact that which printer is printing, how many prints it's made, all the different kind of calculations and things that you need to see on an everyday basis, uh, we now have opened up through the port software. Uh, we'll show that more when it's available and that you can see working with this printer. Now let's take a look at the product comparisons. The 17-inch product comparison line is basically made up of the short color P900, which I have two of, and it's a very good printer. Uh, short color uh, P5000 SE, which is the uh, P5000 printer that this new one is going to be replacing, and of course the sure color P5370. And you can see they all do up to 17 inches, but one of the new things that you'll find is that in the 5370, you'll have a new Ultra Chrome Pro ink and it has a violet ink, and we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, it uses 200 milliliter cartridges. The P900, just for sake of uh, description, if you have a P900 or might be thinking about getting this printer, they use 50 milliliter cartridges. Uh, you've got the 4.3 inch uh, control panel on this. Um, you've got a built-in cutter. I forgot to mention that. This is probably one of the hottest things there is, is the fact that if you're using roll paper, that it does and has a, a cutter and it's a replaceable cutter so you can replace it after it gets uh, worn out and so forth. But uh, this will increase production considerably when you're using the roll paper uh, feed. Now, the pricing. Um, the pricing, the list price for the P900, although I don't know anybody that's paid this price, uh, is uh, $1,249. Uh, the P5000 goes for $2,085. And the new P5370 printer is going to be going for $2,095. Now, you know, why they raised it just 10 bucks is beyond me. But anyway, uh, that's what you're going to be praying for. So it's a really good value. Uh, for the buck, and especially for the fact that it's going to be a production unit, uh, you'll certainly find a return on your investment pretty quickly there. There'll be uh, service plans available uh, as normal, and you'll be able to decide which way you want to go when you get the printer. One of the things you want to think about is why do you want to buy this printer instead of, say, the P900? Well, you've got a much wider color gamut to work with now, in the blue hues especially, and that's because they're using a violet ink in their ink set. A higher productivity, high capacity print cartridges, rolls, and all the different things that go along with it. You'll be uh, printing a lot longer and a lot faster with this printer. Um, connectivity is now through uh, Wi-Fi connectivity and your cloud solution port support, which allows you to remotely take a look at the number of prints made, all the other important features, ink uh, situations as far as uh, how much ink is left and so forth. In using the Epson print layout and the mobile solution, uh, as well as the Epson media installer, you can work with almost any paper surface uh, out there, and uh, that will be a big improvement too. So I'm really excited to see this printer uh, come to market. Uh, this is the kind of printer that you know works well in the kind of environments that I use it in. Uh, we will be doing a complete review of this printer when it's available. That'll be early sometime early to mid-January, I hope, if all things go according to plan. And uh, we'll give it a run for its money. Uh, 
to me, if you're a wedding photographer or you're doing any kind of volume print work, uh, this kind of printer will be the kind of thing you'd like to have because you can set everything up and walk away from it. And since it's a roll feed, it'll just go and cut and go and cut and go and cut until uh, a job is completed. Uh, the portrait social market might find this also be a very viable printer uh, in regards to the kind of printing that those folks do in uh, package printing and so forth. So uh, let's wait to January. Let's see what happens. Epson, thank you for doing the upgrade on this printer. Look forward to seeing how it works and uh, get my hands on it and run it through the, the, the tests. Anyway, I'm excited about it. And uh, this is Kevin Raver. Thanks for stopping by and being part of the PXL family. I'll see you next time.